Welcome back to Vampire. Let's head through these gates that have been closed to us until now and head to Lady Ashbury's mansion, but not before rooting around in the garbage. Whoa. They want war. I'll show them war! Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. They won war, and that was a vampire. Were they talking about the Guard of Prewin? Because that seems like what these dead people are. Whoa, what's going on over there? Oh, vampires versus Prewin, yeah. What did I just loot? It made a wet noise. The hell was that? I can't even see it. Oh no 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 no! Fight fight the other one. Leave me alone. This one's winning, so I'm gonna hurt it. They're using blood spear against me. I wonder if I should ever put points into that. I was thinking maybe this place, because it's such a kind of high class place with locked gates, maybe it'd be relatively safe in here. But nope, still, just war on the streets. So that's the mansion. Let's explore around first, though. What is that? What is that? Rogue Volkod. Whoa. are really changing. Seeing really different types of creatures on the streets. Where are we now? It's a hideout here that I've discovered, so that means I've been here before then, right? Is that what it means? How could I have been here before, though?
yeah, this just leads us back to the beginning, which was a lock gate that I was never able to get past. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's that's around here. That's outside of the lock gate. Yeah, I can't reach the hideout on this side. Okay, that makes more sense. More loot? Ah, oh, damn. There's so much loot here, though. Probably because it's like a rich neighborhood. Okay, so this should be a lock gate up here. That's one of the ones that I tried and couldn't get through, so might as well go all the way. There we go. Unlocked. <laughs> so open up another gate. It's locked, all right. Oh. Is this the one? Oh no, this is the one that I tried. I tried this one. That one's locked. I haven't tried this one. Wherever it is. Where? I don't even see it on the map. Yeah, I'm trying to open up all the shortcuts so I can get back here easily. Murdering Boston! Your prey is mine now! I cannot enter. Looks like that one shortcut was the only one I could open up. Yeah, I can't do this one, this one, or mm, this one. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Let's get a look at this thing. Not really that spectacular of like an outside shape. Not really what I picture when I picture a mansion. But I'm sure it will be very spectacular on the inside. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him, but I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, 
call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, Please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first, but it is only logical considering the critical situation in London. Who are they, really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals, all of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. 
but I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. <laughs> I wonder if there'll be options to not show them any respect at all and just be an asshole. I wonder what that would do. It'd be hilarious, but also probably a terrible idea. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. Of course. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. Right, the people behind the uh, Dawson manufacturing plants, right? If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite, but we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan, like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. Will the guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I'm surprised Prewin has that amount of reach. How many members do they have? I would think even with the vampires being much lower in numbers than Prewin, that they'd be so much more powerful than them. But I guess not. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. 
They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. to visit the Ascalon Club. Meet the club's leader and gain his trust. I'm guessing the Ascalon Club is that fancy place that I originally thought was the mansion. No, it's still not. What is this place? Maybe it's just, maybe it's just like a park. It could be a public park of some sort. Wait, new dialogue available with Lady Ashbury. But I just left. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll come back later. I'm not surprised in the slightest that there's a romance going on between the main character and the super pretty vampire. The only 
vampire that I'm actually friends with. Is this the way to it? Yeah, so I'm guessing this door is now unlockable. Before it, I couldn't go through? It's locked, alright. Oh. Well, wait, how do I get there then? So I can't go through here. Over here? This way used to be locked. I guess I'll go try it. Maybe it's unlocked now. I guess I found the right way. I could have swore I went this way before, though. But I've already encountered a new area and I haven't even gone through a gate, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but... Jesus, they sound like they're puking. Is this a cutscene or something? I can't... I can't sprint. I want to take out this McCollum that was fucking the asshole. I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. Please, I beg you, be quiet. That is such an annoying noise. So where are we now? Okay, yeah, we're heading into the West End. It's a big construction site. Teleport up there. It's locked, all right. Thank God, because it's a level transition, actually. Okay, let's take them out. Level! They're level 28! Icar's Threat Of all the evil and foul skulls I have ever had to fight, the Icar, or Icar, just different spelling, may be the worst. Not because of its fighting prowess, even if it rem remains a powerful and dangerous opponent. Not because of its superior wit or cunning plans, an Icar is quite blunt and straightforward in his actions and objectives. Spread diseases, contagions, and epidemics whenever and wherever it can. An Icar is the incarnation of viruses and infections. Wherever it goes, sicknesses appear and quickly spread. It is like it only walks this earth to generate plagues and epidemics, as if its skin itself diffuses sickness. Ickers are clever, sneaky, malevolent, and ferocious, capable of enduring many wounds. To spoil a water tank, a granary, or a banquet, this is the kind of things an Icar would enjoy to do in order to please its putrid and perverse nature. They are so rare that we do not know anything about them, the Lazy Brotherhood believes that they should not be considered vampires or skulls, but as something else. All I know is this, an Icar must be destroyed by all means necessary as soon as it is spotted. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Prewin Leader. I'm guessing I'm soon to encounter one then. Aha! There's another shortcut unlocked from Whitechapel to West End. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Oh, this is where they used to live. Right, I was a rich asshole. Where do we go first? I want to explore the whole place. Somebody help me. Well, there's a good place to start. Kimura. Are you Kimura? Probably. Oh, Jesus.
This is not going well. <laughs> oh, I'm really tempted to sleep before I go back there. I could really use that 10,000 plus XP. It would super help. But then everybody at the West End Gates or whatever the place is called, they would not have a good time. They're not going to have a good time anyway, but at least would like them to have the best time I can possibly make them have. Okay, let's utilize the shotgun. Where do they come from, by the way? Any secrets up here? really not doing much. But they're not resistant to guns at all, looking at their resistances. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, let's go with the pistol, though. Well, uh, there goes all my ammo. <laughs> so, uh... Three shillings. That's it? Oh well, it was a satisfying fight. Please tell me that was the person I needed to defeat to save this person? Or is there someone else in here? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Is it? Could I have all of your money, too? You look very finely dressed. I assume you're rich. Level 4. Can't do a medical checkup. They're healthy anyway. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Well, it's good to know the person I defeated out there was supposed to be very strong, because if that was what normal vampire enemies were like, then I'd be pretty screwed. The Heresy of the Pure Blood. Pure Blood. 
We know the expression. We heard it in the foul mouth of the heretics and the foreign barbarians. Used it sometimes ourselves. But do we really know what it means? A vampire born from an immortal belly? What a disgusting idea. How would such a creature find its place among the livings? What would be its purpose? Ours is clear, gentlemen. Ascalon is here to protect the Empire and all its citizens. We are the protectors and shepherds, even when sometimes... Even... Wait, what? Even when sometimes sacrifice a sheep for our sustenance. I, I know what that's trying to say, but I'm not sure how it's meant to be said. <laughs> Whoever will be found guilty of succumbing to the desire of breeding immortal child shall be eradicated? Man, some of the grammar on this is odd. From the Law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, Founder. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to explore more of the West End. <laughs>